side of things, obviously kids are going to be out and about tomorrow night. And the concern is for chillier weather than we have experienced lately. Yeah, the question is, do you put the coat over the costume or underneath and put the costume <laughs> on top? I'm trying to think whichever works best for carrying your big bag of candy. <laughs> that's all that matters. And that's all that, you know, that's all that matters. The good news, though, for the kids that are trick-or-treating out there, it's not like it's going to be storming or raining, so they're not going to be facing those type of conditions, but it is certainly going to be chilly tomorrow evening around here. We've had the winds kind of whipping up off and on periodically throughout the day today, and that has really basically driven our wind chills down into the 30s, but we've got even windier weather coming tomorrow evening. Right now, feels like it's generally in the middle to upper 30s for most of us. Pick your location, Batavia, Loveland, Hamilton, Springboro, most of us feeling like we're on either side of 40 at the moment. So no doubt it feels like I guess you could call it Thanksgiving or even Christmas right now. But by tomorrow night, it's going to feel more like, let's say, January out there for us. So wind chills currently in the upper 30s to right around 40 degrees for most of us. The good news, radar is quiet. So although it's still kind of ugly looking out there at the moment, the rain is gone. We don't have to worry about any wet weather around here through the night. Now, our actual air temperatures are basically in the low to mid 40s. So these numbers in terms for, of our highs are pretty much closer to where we should be in early January. So that's why I use that reference. It feels like winter out there for sure. And it's going to get even colder too in time. So let's talk about what's happening as we move forward. Here's your 12 hour forecast. Our skies will gradually clear and temperatures will slip through the 30s come mid to late evening and then overnight we'll get down below freezing out there and I expect for most areas to dip down into the middle upper 20s possibly by tomorrow morning. Hence the reason why this purple shading reflective of the freeze warning for our area. We've had a couple of frost advisories. If you've had something that survived these recent cold snaps tonight, you'll need to bring it indoors if you want to keep it alive. Otherwise, this will be it for anything kind of growing around our area. Your lawns are going to start turning brown and so forth. All right, trick or treating tomorrow evening. It's going to feel like it's in the 30s out there. And yes, there's a chance for maybe a passing flurry or two late. Here's a look at feels like future cast. This is tomorrow afternoon at four o'clock. Notice we'll start feeling like it's in the 40s, but you can clearly see what happens as that cold front comes in. Here's five o'clock. Watch the numbers. There's seven, 730 by seven. It feels like it's below freezing out there already. Mind you, there will be a pretty gusty breeze too, so it's going to feel cold out there. And then by mid evening, let's say nine into the mid 20s is what it will feel like. If you're out really late tomorrow night, it will feel like it's in the low to mid 20s. And then by the time you wake up on November 1, wind chills will likely be within a couple of degrees of 20. Can't even rule out a few of us starting the day in the upper teens. So the takeaway is it's chilly now, but it's going to get even colder. All right, we're starting to see some bright spots. Try looks like a little bit of sun out there showing up on the east end. 43 here in Cincinnati. There's that brisk breeze. Skies are going to gradually clear tonight as high pressure builds in. That's what will set the stage for the freezing cold night ahead of us. Here's future cash. You see the back edge of the cloud cover getting out of here. I actually think tomorrow during the day is not too bad. Just chilly for this time of the year. Well, highs only in the 40s. But notice tomorrow evening, here comes the cold front. I do not expect a lot to fall from the sky when this front passes by. So you'll see it zip through, maybe a sprinkle, straight flurry again. I don't think there's much with the front, but it represents the winds that will then kick up and the chance for maybe a passing flurry or two overnight tomorrow with the colder air settling in. As if 28 wasn't cold enough, freezing cold tonight for us tomorrow. Partly cloudy, breezy and chilly, 45 for your afternoon high. And again, once that front comes in in the evening tomorrow, that's when even though it's still in the low 40s, that wind will whip up and it'll start to feel like it's in the 30s pretty fast. We'll get down to 27 by the time you wake up on November 1. And then look at Wednesday's high, only in the low 40s. This is certainly more reflective of January. The good news is that it looks like the cold is only temporary because by the weekend, temperatures will start to warm up as we make our way towards Saturday and Sunday. All right, Kevin, thanks so much. We're well, coming up a new market to help feed hundreds of.